Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and in this video we're going to be designing just one icon and that icon can get you in a little bit of trouble. So let me just first show you what we'll be designing. So rest of our icon were pretty simple. Now we're going to move on to this bell icon. The reason why I have chosen this bell icon or notification icon is because it can be a little bit tricky to get this down if you are not fully aware of how the vector actually works and chances are high that you might be coming up from a programming background or any other background so that you don't know how vector actually works. If you're coming from Illustrator or Photoshop, that should be totally breeze. But yeah, it can be a little bit tricky. So let's get it down how we can design this bell icon. So follow me along and I'm going to walk you through some interesting things that I think everybody should know about these vectors. So without any further ado, get your artboard ready and we're going to have a 500 by 500 artboard. That's the easy one. So press O on your keyboard and we're going to get an uh, hold on your shift key so that we can have a circle. And this is going to be like 160 by 160. It's always good to have if you're on to like 159, it makes really sense to have 160 by 160. Obviously, we're going to remove the border. As you know, I don't like them at all. OK, so there we go. Now we need a rectangle. So press R on your keyboard to get a rectangle. These shortcuts are handy and I expect everybody to remember them by now. OK, so get your rectangle like somewhat like this big, which is 160 by 228 or 230 would be good. Now make sure the width is 160 because our circle is also 160 so that they can merge easily. Now remove the border and just adjust that a little bit by scrolling that with your arrow keys and make sure they looks like one object. Okay. Now we don't want to just merge them right now. It would be like too much early. So click on this, select your rectangle and then double click on this. Now it converts that into vector. Now notice on the vector, whatever the point is selected, we want all of them to be straight. Okay. So notice sometimes they can be a little bit tricky. So make sure you just verify that again. Now we want two more anchor points to get that nice easy curve there. So we're going to get somewhere like this and somewhere like this. Now once you click on this guy, make sure you move it a little bit so that these guides actually help you to be exactly in the front of that previous dot. Okay, and notice these are also straight. Okay, now we're going to select this guy, hold down your shift key and press your right arrow key four times, one, two, three, four. What it has done is it has given us exact symmetry there. It has moved just 40 pixels. So with the shift key and arrow key, arrow key actually moves it to one pixel, hold down shift key, it moves to the 10 pixel. So we have moved it on to the 10 pixel. Yeah, we can do that by turning on the grids and all of that, but I think it's a much better shortcut. Okay, double click again and we want this guy to be selected and shift and one, two, three, four. So there we go. It's already looking nice, but it's not exactly like bell. It needs to be a little bit curvy. Now here comes the tricky part. So double click on that, select any point or vector that you want and uh, let's just call it as mirrored. So notice it has got its nice like curvy exactly what we want. The problem actually starts when you again double click on it and go and select on this and you expect that, hey, I'm going to just click on the mirrored and it's going to work and chances are high it's going to get messed up. Now let's explore what is the reason of this mess up so that if anything happens like this, you can actually take it down. So notice here when I select this guy and notice the handlebars here, which are actually responsible for these curvy shapes. These are too small and luckily or just say it a random guess by sketch. The first attempt was really good in saying how much longer these handlebars should be. But on the other hand, these handlebars are like way big, way big. This is not what we want. So just by shrinking them down, you can notice that we do have a better shape now. So this is a common thing which is missed by a lot of programmers, not programmers like designers who are getting started and moving into it. For all those uh, experienced guy in the illustrator, it's, it's not at all a big deal. They know it already where the problem is. And notice just by having it, it's so much better here. Okay, the next thing that what we can do is select on this guy. Now here comes again a tricky part. Now since, and make sure these corner points are the straight ones. Now, these traits actually can be a little bit tricky to have a roundish edge. I really would say that don't go too far because as you'll go too far, it can get like something like this. And this is completely okay based on the anchor points. So I would say not to go too far, always keep a little bit like two is probably okay. 
If you want to have like more curvy edges, uh, then obviously you might want to add more anchor points so that they can just lean over it. But I think uh, two is actually absolutely fine for us in this case. Uh, nice, uh, let me zoom that here so that you can see that. It's nice curved, but not too much so that it just creates a problem. Obviously no problem is a big problem. We can just go ahead and uh, get more anchor points and can just fix that up pretty easily, okay? Now I think this needs to be shortened down a little bit. I think it's too much big for an icon. So I'm gonna just scroll that a little bit. Uh, probably like, okay, so probably like something 190 or something is good. So this looks like more over a bell. Now what is uh, happening here is I can just merge them as a single icon now. Now probably you might want to tweak that a little bit because this might look a little bit more curvy to you. So based on that, you can actually straighten this down, can have like more symmetries. Again, it all depends on eyeballing the stuff and all of that. You can always double click and have it here, can eyeball it a little bit more perfect so that they look like symmetrical or you can also move this anchor point a little bit like downwards or upwards if things are not feeling you right and all of that. So, you know, icons needs to be more creative than just having these techniques. So now what we can do is select them and can hit a union so that they becomes one object. So there we go, nice and easy. Now the next thing that we need is the bell of the bell icon. So what we can do is first of all, have a circle O and hit down your shift key. And there we go, we have a nice circle. Uh, it all depends on you how you really want it. I think I'm gonna go for 104, that is nice. I'm gonna remove the border. Now press R key to have a rectangle and we're gonna have a rectangle which is gonna lay onto just half of it. It doesn't really matter. Don't need to turn even the borders off. Just select both of the shape and hit subtract so that we can have a nice, uh, this guy here. I'm gonna keep it away for like 15 pixels or maybe it's too high. I'm gonna go for 12. Yeah, 12 looks much better to me. Then hit the R and we're gonna have like top roundish top of this bell icon. I don't know what even to call that. So there we go. This is gonna look like this. It's 60, 60 by 25 would be good. So we're gonna go for 60 by 25. That's nice. Okay, and uh, we are gonna remove the border, you know me. And also we are gonna uh, around the radius here a little bit so that it becomes like probably we're gonna go for all the way till the 10 and now you can eyeball it a little bit shift it with the arrow key so that it's at the dead center probably want to increase that a little bit like 28 it all depends on you how you want to see that totally on to your creativity I'm gonna go for 65 by 28 okay there we go looks nice and we can even integrate this as a union so that it becomes like nice and easy. If you want to have like more uh, roundish edge, you can always set one more anchor point there, uh, just like that and can hit like mirrored and uh, you can just tweak that a little bit like to have more corners, all of that. I'm not gonna go do that because I think it's already good for me and it looks good. Now I'm gonna select all of that and I'm gonna fill that with the color which I've already got here, which is this guy. So this looks pretty easy and uh, fun stuff. I hope you have learned a quick new tips about the vector icons and how these mirrors and the uh, long edges and scale is, I call them mustaches, along uh, these cat mustaches can create some problems and how to fix them as well. So that's it, that you go with your awesome bell icon. You can be a little bit more creative with that. And that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna surely catch you up in the next video.